my god. Like this. I'm a fan of people. Yeah, exactly. When people come on my radio show, I'm as gassed as a fan there. that maybe might come to one of my shows and think that I'm somewhere. Yeah. Why did Dizzy and that inspire you? Well, why did uh, Wiley inspire you? Cause... I don't know, man. I think it was just like it being open for me to even see it all happen, man. Listen, I used to be the golf, not you, so don't step on my toes. Put the eyeliner under your eye. Whoa. Nah, come on, man. Am I a fairer? Well, what do you mean? It. <laughs> what do you mean? My favourite song growing up was probably Kano P's and Q's. I know the whole lyrics off by heart. Well, I can't be some no, I can't. Some of us don't like me. They try to bad mind me when Kano comes to town. They say it's mine right then. They lose the line like when Kano comes around. That's like you got the voice on Smash. You know what I mean? Exactly. I, I, I recite it. <laughs> Dizzy definitely, he was way ahead of his time. Him as a producer inspired me to be different. First time hearing D-Double was definitely on radio, and it was like, wow, who's this guy? And then when you saw him on stage, it was always murking, duppy. It's a murkers, he's just got swag. Seeing people like Wiley, like, put out albums, shoot videos that you see them shooting because they're doing it in the area they're from, uniting his friends and getting them on it, it kind of made me feel like I could do this, this is something I can do. Kano, up the bar for lyricism and grime. And I think he ushered in a whole new era of what it was to be a grime MC. Just get sad. Like, he just gets life on another level. He wants something, he creates it and makes it happen. He's also a mad creative. Seeing those portraits, it's regal. But they are, they're grime royalty. Yeah, that's what it signifies to me, grime royalty. Nobody's safe. Is that video? My name's on the top of the billboard. <laughs> <laughs> I never really grew up wanting to be a musician or a rapper or whatever. I just had an epiphany one day, recorded a couple tracks back in Dublin. All of a sudden there was a buzz created and they just took it off like, I just kind of took it from there. So I traveled with um, Skinny, with DJ, left there. So it's like real small for now, but hopefully when the budgets get bigger, I'll start bringing my friends and stuff because that's when it gets fun. And not just doesn't feel like a job, you know. <laughs> I just feel like I need close people around me sometimes just to like really experience things. Just because you know, just experience things fuller, you know. I don't know, it's more than merrier. <laughs>
DJing becomes your job. Sometimes you do lack inspiration a little bit because you get caught up in it as a job. When you're taken out of your comfort zone and you see other people that are so inspired about stuff, you know, that really inspires you and yourself to come out of that rut. And now I'm fucking ready to go for it again. To find inspiration can be quite difficult. And then, like, sometimes all it needs is, like, a little trip on holiday or you find a new artist and you bang, you're back in it. As a DJ as well, you need to fucking remember the reason you got into it is because you're a music fan. And if that disappears, may as well quit. Oscar is my real name, but world peace is the statement. The best way to be honest in music, and as a person, because I don't know about anyone else, but I'm speaking about my real life, and it will be weird. I'm very dishonest to the people around me that I love most, that I'm not telling the truth, and they will know it. Art needs to come from an honest place because art is a form of expression. What you're expressing is your truth. And that's what it's always meant to be about. If you're not expressing your truth, then it's not art. You can never be too honest. There's nothing wrong with honesty. People are scared of being themselves. All I know is the truth and all I know is my truth. I did that teenage fangirl thing when I went to see Justin Timberlake. Were you a teenager? I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought music was UB40, Robbie Williams and that. But when I clocked that raw, people are making music themselves. Yeah. And I've got to the point where now I can I can express exactly how I feel. Yeah. Through the making tunes. Yeah, accessibility is a lot more like everyone can do it if they want to. You know, like. Yeah, man. Too much. Let me know what holds you up, couldn't care about the dough Everybody goes through stuff, I just wanna hold and hug I pick up and go, never in the same place much Never can they mistake us, I wish they would know Freedom is all we lost, it deepens the more unjust Can you hear me? I've seen them being round the fairies The pressure can make your feet weary Seen the jungle, they can't bear me Can feel the screams loud and clearly Fear me if you dislike or weary Got my mind, lost it nearly What's the time, got it barely I know the pain and it varies, uh. Never sailed. Who's that trying to eye? I don't ever dwell, I'm not that sort of guy. Learn, never fail, have that for a line. Clock only tells, have that for a sign. You're leaving the trail, who fell in the line? I'm leading myself, who's walking behind? 